CKX has become one of the most innovative helmet companies in the industry thanks to their out-of-the-box thinking and high-tech designs. With a rider-first focus, CKX helmet engineers start by identifying real-world uses scenarios that, in their minds at least, have not been adequately addressed by any current helmet offerings. The Atlas is one of their newest helmet designs that's got a long list of interesting technology aimed at making it not just a great helmet, but an adaptable helmet as well. Originally designed for adventure bike riders, the goal for the Atlas was to build a helmet that could easily be configured for both on and off-road riding with no tools. It didn't take long for them to identify other customers who might benefit from this modularity as well. More specifically, riders who may own both on and off-road vehicles of all different kinds, in our case, both motorcycles and ATVs or side-by-sides. The Atlas is available with either a carbon or a fiberglass composite shell. It's available in three shell sizes with four different sizes of inner foam. This allows it to fit heads all the way from extra small to triple extra chubby, like mine. Both the carbon and fiberglass versions feature five adjustable air vents, push button shield and peak removal, quick release chin strap, removable and washable liner, and our communication system ready. They are also available in more than a dozen colorways. What makes the Atlas special though, is its ability to adapt to both on and off-road riding environments. This helmet is currently set up in the on-road mode with the muzzle installed, the full shield in place, and the adjustable peak stowed. In this configuration, the Atlas is perfect for long days on the road, and while it is listed as being intended for adventure bike riders, it would be just as at home on a cafe or naked bike, a spider, or even a slingshot. The interior is comfy and roomy with adequate space for glasses to be worn. Airflow is good, and the helmet is decently quiet at speed. Field of vision is also excellent, and the peak can be removed entirely if you prefer. While the Atlas does appear to be a fairly large helmet, keeping in mind that this is the largest triple XL helmet they make, it doesn't feel large on your head and it certainly doesn't feel heavy. When the time comes to switch from on-road riding to off-road riding, you have a number of adjustments you can make to configure the helmet to suit your needs exactly. First, the Peak has an extendable section that increases its overall size for better protection from both the sun and dirt and debris. The chin of the helmet, which CKX refers to as the muzzle, is also removable. Behind it is mostly mesh, which allows for maximum airflow. And finally, the shield can be removed entirely to be replaced by a pair of CKX 210 goggles that come in a wide variety of configurations themselves. With the peak extended, muzzle removed, and goggles in place, the Atlas does look like a completely different helmet than it did in on-road mode. As you might expect, you can choose to convert one, some, or all of these features depending on your personal preference. For example, a side-by-side -side rider might prefer to have the peak extended, but keep the shield and the muzzle in place. Or you may prefer to keep the muzzle in place, extend the peak, but remove the shield and go with the 210 goggles instead. Since you're not working as hard riding a side-by-side -side as you are driving an ATV, the extra dust protection provided by the muzzle may be worth sacrificing the extra airflow you'd get having it removed. On an ATV where exertion is at its maximum, I definitely prefer to have all the vents open, the peak extended, and the muzzle and the shield removed and use the goggles instead. The concept of a helmet that can be converted between full face with a shield and open face with goggles isn't a new one. These types of helmets have been around for years from numerous manufacturers. However, I can say with confidence that no one has ever done it like CKX has with the Atlas. If there's one thing I've learned from testing all of those other helmets, it's that it definitely does take more than just removing the shield and replacing it with a pair of goggles to make a full face helmet into a good open face one. CKX has addressed many of the issues I had with these other attempts and come up with something I think legitimately can cover both on and off road riding with very few compromises. If you're an ATV or side-by-side -side rider who also owns a motorcycle, a slingshot, or a spider, I think it would be wise to give CKX's Atlas helmet a serious look. 